Hey everyone, it's Marianne. Um, we are working with my model Olivia today to show you how to do a fine hair blowout. Um, I'm going to teach her how to do it and then she's going to try and replicate it as best as she can as this is the first time we're doing this, but we're going to try and do this together and hopefully show people how to create volume, how to create curl, and how to create more fullness for fine hair. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to show the top section and how to do it, and Olivia is going to replicate it on the sides. Uh, Olivia washed her hair. Uh, it's now damp, so most of it has dried. I like to do it this way because doing it on wet hair takes so much longer, so by letting the hair naturally air dry, it'll just make it faster. We're going to start kind of like a mohawk. So this is the top section. And what I like to do is just pin it with long clips or small butterfly clips and then pin the back out of the way. So again, we're gonna work on the mohawk section. What you're gonna need is a round brush, blow dryer, and bobby pins if you can see them. <laughs> so I like to start with the very front section. This is gonna give you as much volume as possible. You're gonna blow dry this with a round brush towards the front of your head. And you're just gonna try to get it smooth and smooth and straight and dry as much as you can. So I'm just gonna go off to an angle here. Once you get this section warm enough, you're going to use your two fingers and you're going to hold it at the base and you're going to wrap it around your fingers like your fingers are a ruler. I'm going to get Olivia just to turn to the left and you can see it literally looks like a little roller. You can use bobby pins on the base and open the bobby pins so that you can secure the kind of pin roller. And that's what it looks like. So off to the next section, same way. I'm all I'm really doing with the blow dryer and the brush is I'm just blow drying it all forward to get it smooth and dry with the heat. Nothing too special with the round brush, but I'm literally just pulling it over the section and extending it. Once you get it warm enough with the dryer, then you pin. So I'll go ahead and finish this section. You get her to turn to the left again. So two fingers right at the base. And you're gonna roll, roll, right, wrap around your fingers. You're gonna pull it apart with the other hand. And again, it's like a roll. So again, this will help with volume. It helps with fine hair to create body and bounce. The longer you leave your hair in these pins, as you're blow drying the rest of the hair, the more volume, the longer it will last. Now this is the back part of the mohawk. So that's the finished mohawk. So now we're going to do the sides. 
So I like to split it into two right down the back of the head. So she has two sections. Again, pin one of them aside. Your right side's your easier side, so she's right-handed. So I'm gonna pin the left just to get it out of the way. If you're not using it, just pin it away. This way you won't get your sections caught and they'll stay separate. Okay. So now with doing the sides, I like to work in small, in bigger sections just because the volume is more at the top and the sides you just really want smoothness. So we're going to do, or Olivia's going to do the right section. So I'm going to give her this section that's on her right side. She's going to take her brush on one side. And I just want to mention that I'm not a hairstylist. I cannot do this on my own, which is why I'm attempting to try this. So bear with us. <laughs> So because it's a side section, I'm assuming it's going to the side? Yes. Okay. Yep. And yeah, you're just going to pull it off to the side. So I would put bring your brush always in the back of your section, never in the front of your section. It'll just be easier for your wrist. I don't know how I'm going to do this and hold the blow dryer. <laughs> you're going to do it. So you're going to do that. And I'll turn it on for you. And you're just going to pull it out. Awesome. That's the last section. Put it all the way up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you're gonna use your two fingers. That was good enough? Yeah, yeah, it's good. You just gotta get it really warm. As long as you get it warm, smooth, and straight, it will work. So okay, your right work. fingers go at the base. Like split? Nope, like, together. Together? Yeah, but you're gonna do it underneath your section. Perfect. Oh, and you're yeah. gonna, yeah, perfect. And you're gonna wrap using your left hand the section around those fingers. Like this? Perfect, yep. Yeah. I got it. Mm, I don't have it. Oh, got it. One, two, three, okay. And then what you're going to do is, yeah, loop it up. You got it with your fingers, yeah. So the reason I'm also looking down is because we have a mirror down here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that looks to camera, but so I can see what I'm doing. And then you get a bobby pin and try to open it up. Open it. Yeah, and get it inside the circle of your bowl. I honestly can't see if that's in there. Hold on. Good. And on the other side, you're going to do it over, and you're kind of going to do like a crisscross effect. Oh, look, look, okay, look. Okay, try again. Do you your two fingers? Yeah. Grab. Perfect. Yeah. It's just this hair is so silky, it's not... Yeah, and just try not to smush it. Try to hold the donut, like one finger is still kind of in there. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's look okay. here. Yeah, yeah, go, go. I'm watching it. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one. You're going to have to get it from this angle, Olivia. Yeah. There you go. Look. Perfect. Go right in. Perfect. Yes, I'm helping her, but you know what? She's got the idea of it. It's practice, right? Yeah, and when you have more mirrors, it's probably easier too. Yeah, totally. It's definitely Especially doable. The <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try one more side, yeah. and then I'll help you with the back. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the left side. Again, I'm pinning the back out of the way. There's no reason for your back sections to be involved in your front sections. Get them out of the way and get them pinned away so it's just easier. So again, she's putting the brush in her one hand. Underneath. Underneath, yep, always. And when I mean underneath, it doesn't mean underneath the section horizontally, it actually means vertically. It's easier for your hand and your arm to be pulling it out from this way vertically than to be pulling it out down horizontally. So I try to always show people how to do it uh, vertically. So I'll turn oh, wait, I just wrapped my hair around the brush. Was that wrong? It, it's not wrong, it'd just be, it'd be harder for you to pull it out. So wrapping it will give you more of a, a bendier effect, but to try to pull that through would be hard. So I'd say if you are gonna wrap your hair around the brush yeah, just can't. to give it some traction, I would do it once. No, I can't even. There you go. So I'm so, not gonna be wrapping, not gonna be wrapping. <laughs> but I'm not. How does somebody do this with two hands? <laughs> so I'm not joking, I'm actually asking. <laughs> secure one as tight as you can. There you go. So okay. try not to move it past. Alright, so I'll get you to get the flip iron okay. and then we'll swap. 
Imagine that your fingers are the Velcro roller, or a roller in general, a hot roller, but this way you're using your fingers. You can use bobby pins, you can use what we call duck clips, uh, you can use larger bobby pins. I find small bobby pins because everybody has one at home. This is the second one. And always two to crisscross. Well, I'll be happy just to get two in there. <laughs> you're getting in! Wait, yeah, I think I crisscrossed so criss 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 that one. You did. Perfect. And now the back section. It's kind of the hardest section to do. But what I always try to tell people is when you're drying your back section, just try to blow dry it to your face. It's just easier. All you have to do is really just get it dry, smooth, and straight. So what I'll do, I'll do one side, and she'll do the other side. <laughs> we'll see. So I'll get you to face this way, Olivia. So if I was Olivia, and I was blow drying my hair, I would be blow drying it towards my face. But because I'm doing it, I'm gonna blow dry it behind. So both sections are separated down the middle. I'll put a clip in it so again, we're not touching the other section. I'll leave the left side for her and I'll be the right side. So it's smooth and dry. Two fingers under. And I'm wrapping my fingers around. Again, it doesn't really matter how the curl is sitting, how the how it's being rolled, as long as it's being rolled after it's being warmed up. As it's sitting, it's cooling down, it's holding its form, and it's creating more volume. So I'm gonna get Olivia to switch over again. We're gonna do her left side. So remember. All you're trying to do is just get it smooth. So same way that you were doing the other, you could do it vertically and really just get it smooth, straight, and dry. That's all you're really doing. So I'll give you the brush. Um, so I just want to talk through this really quickly. Yeah, do it. So I'm putting it behind under. and I'm just bringing it to me so I'd be holding the blow dryer here. And bringing it forward, almost like it's gonna lie on your chest. All right, I think I can do that. Let's see what happens. Am I set? Yeah, you want to turn To bring it almost lower onto oh, your right. collar. This way you don't feel like you're pulling. I totally forgot about it and I think I pulled my side curl in the process. That's okay. That's the good thing is if you pull it out, you just put it back in. Okay. I like to do the front sections first just to show how it's being done, but sometimes it's easier to do your back section first, but it just really helps. It depends on your arms. But once you get a lot of this done, the back section is actually quick and easy. Okay, and I was going to the side instead of forward for whatever reason. It's okay, it's more like your arms feeling right. All right, round two. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, fine, okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, now two fingers? Oh, yes. <laughs> you forgot! This is the workout. All right, two fingers. Let's see what I can get done. Perfect! Okay. Which hand do you want to go? Here, right, please. Yes. All right, there's one. Thank you. Sometimes they pre-open them, but they just fall out, so I never pre-open them for people. Yeah. I don't know if I got that. Yeah, you did, you did. So I'll get Olivia to just turn her head a little bit and you'll just see we have one side, one back, one back, one side. So bottom section, we have four sections. And on the top section, which I call a mohawk, we have three sections all together. That's gonna give you all your volume for you fine hair clients. You want volume, you want bounce, fine hair, blow dry, this is what I usually recommend. This is what I call a Victoria's Secret blow up. 
even though we don't have Victoria's Secret hair, we can at least make it seem like we do. Um, what I like to do is when I blow dry this for my clients in the salon or I teach people how to do it at home, um, I would like to do this and try to let it stay as long as possible. You do your makeup, you get dressed. As you're exactly about to run out of the door, that's when you take out the pins. That's when you're going to get the most volume. That's how you're going to make it last all day. So because we did the top section, I can start pulling out those pins because they've been cooling down for a little bit. And by the time I get to the back section, then we'll have to see how it kind of worked out. But the longer you leave it in these pins, I can leave it sometimes up to 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour. It really just depends on your time getting ready in the morning or when you're going out to a special event. So as I pull them out, I try still not to change anything that I did. So as I pull out the bobby pins, I let it drop and I try not to touch it. The more we touch our hair with our hands, the more um, product, the more oil gets distributed on the hair and it's most likely gonna fall out faster. Not your hair, not your hair, <laughs> just the curl. Just the curl, yeah. Your hair's not gonna fall out, it's just the curl will fall out. Yeah. And the reason why we did it into a mohawk is we overextended the section out of the place it's where it's gonna sit and this way it's gonna give you even more volume. Okay, so it looks kind of silly like that, but after we're done, you start to pull it through. I like to use either my fingers or you can use a wide tooth comb, but I find sometimes the less you touch it, the better. By just using your fingers, it kind of just pulls it apart. So because we did it in a mohawk, you can see how much volume she's getting at the top. And because we pinned everything, she has a little bit of a curl and a bounce to it. So. Her hair looks like it's much thicker, but I swear to you, it is fine. It's very thin, but we make it look fuller and nobody can really even tell that she has fine hair. What do you think? Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Practice <laughs> makes perfect. Yes. It takes time. But best thing I always tell people is take your time. Don't ever do it when it's soaking wet. Make sure you always take a mohawk first, work your way down, and then always bobby pin it and let it cool down as much as possible. The look is just gonna last so much longer and you'll just have volume longer. Hope you like this tutorial and uh, hope my fine hair clients will get much more volume now. Thanks, Olivia. Thanks, Marianne. Thanks, guys, for watching.